How's Charity? Is she awake yet? Did she open her eyes? Hey, Did she say anything? Calm down, Miguel. Dr. Russell hasn't had a chance to look at her yet. She's gonna recover, right, Dr. Russell? If she was trying to open her eyes, she should come too soon, right? That could depend on a lot of factors, Miguel. Like what? Like I could give you a better answer if you would all go out into the hall while I try to examine Charity more thoroughly. What's wrong with Charity? What's going on? Her heart rate suddenly shot up. We've got to get it back down. She's regaining consciousness. We're not going to lose her. Grace, Miguel, I've got to get back inside. We will get our miracle, Charity. You can all relax. Charity's stabilized. Oh, thank God. I don't get it, Dr. Russell. I thought she was starting to regain consciousness. What's going on? Well, uh, accelerated heart rate is not uncommon in someone who's been through an enormous trauma. The fire. A fire that most likely killed her mother. If I were to give a guess, I'd say the combination of the head trauma, the respiratory distress, Plus, all the excitement in the room just now probably caused her accelerated heart rate. But she's better now, right? Your niece is fine, Grace. There's no need to be alarmed. All her vitals are stabilizing. She must have sensed the boy that rescued you was back at her bedside. Miguel may have been a boy a few days ago, but after braving that fire to rescue Charity, I'd say he's a man. And I'm sure Luis would agree with me. Thank you, Chief Bennett. the patient I've got to check on, but I will let you all know as soon as I get back Charity's test results. But she really seems okay, Dr. Russell? I don't think there's anything to worry about, Miguel. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bennett. I haven't even asked about your sister, Charity's mom. Have they found her? No, Miguel. There's no sign of faith in what's left of the house. The fire was so intense, they think it destroyed everything. Oh, God. You know, I've lost that connection I felt with Faith as a twin. It frightens me, Miguel. I'm afraid she might have really died in that fire. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Bennett. Thanks. If they didn't find your sister's body, maybe she escaped from the fire. Maybe she's okay. Miguel, I would give anything if that was true. But if she was alive, why hasn't she called me? Or if she's injured, why hasn't somebody found her? Has anyone been looking? Yes, yeah, Sam mounted a massive police search for her. I've got some news about Faith, Grace. I have to remember something your father said earlier. God may have taken away my sister, but he left her beautiful daughter behind. Yeah, we still have Charity. Losing her mother is going to be tough for her. They were really close. But she's going to need the support from all of us. Well, she hardly knows you and I, Sam. I think Miguel's gonna have to be her anchor. I don't mind. And I don't have to do it by myself. I mean, I have Simone and Kay. Kay's not only Charity's cousin, but she's a good friend, too. Yeah, what is it they say? That which doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay, Sam. I just got a little dizzy. Have you eaten anything today? Um... I don't remember. That's it. Look, we're going down to the cafeteria. No, I am not going to leave Charity. I promised her mother I'd look after her. Look, we're not going to be long. We go. Won't you come with us and take a break? I'm okay, Chief Bennett. I'll stay. We'll keep Mikkel company, Dad. Thanks, Kate. She's got to wake up. She's just got to. Miguel, can I get your soda from the machine down the hall? That'd be great, Kate. for the soda, Kay. Miguel, yeah, um, there's, there's something I have to tell you. I know what you're going to say, but I already know how much you care about charity. Oh, I know that, but, um, it's something else. Uh, did you see that? What? 
I, she moved. Charity moved. Dr. Russell, come quick. Charity's waking up. You have to stay back, Miguel. Charity? If you can hear my voice, you're in the hospital. I'm Dr. Russell. I know I saw her move. Charity? Can you hear me? She's not responding. Dr. Russell, Charity gave this to me. She said it was for luck. At this point, I'll try anything. Go ahead. Charity, can you hear me? It's Miguel. She's waking up. I think since you and Charity are so close, yours should be the first face that she sees when she comes to. Charity? Charity, can you hear me? Harmony Hospital, Charity. You were in a fire. There's someone here who's very anxious to talk to you. Someone I think you'll be awfully glad to see. Hi. I knew you'd come back. It worked. Just like you said it always did. I'm, I'm sorry. Do I know you? <laughs> 